Hello and welcome to the range. I'm Jim Scout and host of Shooting USA. If you hunt with a rifle, you know there are a number of bullet choices available and it can be difficult to differentiate one style from another. Well, the experts at Federal Premium Ammunition know all about variety with over 170 offerings and a dozen bullets in their premium line alone. The pioneers of premium have the most complete ammunition offering available and use their knowledge to develop cutting edge tools to help you make the right decision. You need to be thinking about hide thickness, bone density, and shot placement when considering your bullet options. Well, today we're gonna to take a look at Federal's latest tool designed to make choosing the right bullet a little easier. They've developed a new test procedure that gives you a realistic look at how bullets should perform on game. Well, I'm here with Federal Communication Manager, Jason Nash. Jason, tell us what we're gonna see here today. Thanks, Jim. Our engineering team uses ballistic gelatin to simulate animal tissue, and we're gonna use that proven test medium and apply it across three scenarios today to prove why it's important to have the right bullet for the right pursuit. Now, test number one will be bare gelatin, and that'll give us a little bit of resistance, force all the bullets to open, and should give us pretty consistent results. Test number two is gonna be a little bit more realistic. It'll have a piece of deer hide on the front of the gel block to give us a little bit more resistance. Test three will be our extreme test. We're gonna place bone inside the mold and have a moose hide on the front to really give those bullets a workout. Well, those tests seem pretty straightforward, but tell us more about how the gel blocks are set up here. What we've got is we've placed our target at 100 yards, which is pretty standard for sighting in and its average range for a lot of shots on game. And we've got our shooter, Johan, shooting at an actual 3D target that has a gel block placed in the vital zone to make it look a little bit more realistic. And we're using the best high-speed photography equipment available to capture the bullet performance. With these detailed images, you'll have all the knowledge you'll need when making your bullet selection. Jason, what bullets will Johan be shooting today? Jim, we've taken a cross-section of four of our premium bullets that represent different construction. We're going to see how they do in the test today. The Nosler Ballistic Tip. The tip and thin jacket deliver rapid expansion on impact. It's the proven choice for flat shooting, wind-defying performance. The Sierra Game King. Designed with a precisely tapered boat tail shape that reduces drag and delivers high downrange velocity. With flatter trajectories and less wind drift, this bullet excels at long range the Trophy Bonded Tip Bullet. Built on the heralded Trophy Bonded Bear Claw platform for excellent weight retention, penetration, and bone breaking power. Tip for improved accuracy and ballistic coefficient. The Barnes Triple Shot X Bullet. This all copper design delivers superior accuracy, expansion, and deep penetration. High weight retention gives this bullet bone-breaking capability. Now that we know the test procedure and which bullets we'll be seeing, let's look at how the test is standardized. Each 30 caliber bullet weighs 165 grains and will be fired from a 30-06 Kimber Model 8400 topped with a Nitrex 3 to 9 by 42 millimeter scope. I've been affiliated with Federal for more than a decade and have seen these bullets work. This demonstration will give you the knowledge you need to choose the right ammunition for your hunt. So are you guys ready for the first test? We'll start with the Bear Gelatin. Test one, Bear Gelatin. Impressive results from all four bullets combined. But we now invite 20-year federal veteran and brand manager Rick Stokel to help us break down some of the individual performances, starting with the Nosler ballistic tip. Right, Jim, what you see here, this is the Nosler ballistic tip. And this gel block, this is 24 inches, and you're seeing 
the expansion up front. This is a very expansive bullet, expands very fast. So you're seeing it blow up early, not travel as deep as some of the others because it's a thinner skin jacket. Uh, so it'll get about, I think we got about 19 inches out of this one. But so the expansion is definitely up front. That is devastating performance, no question about it, Rick. Jason, what about the Game King? Here we've got a bullet of similar construction. The Game King has a thin jacket, soft lead core, and it's designed to do the same thing as a ballistic tip. Open fast and shed a lot of weight inside the animal to dump a lot of energy. Oftentimes you won't even get an exit depending on how big your animal is. It's designed for antelope, deer, anything with thin skin and not real tough bone. All right, and that's the Sierra Game King, which is one of those federal premium options. Right? Exactly. Rick, what else have we got here? Well, the other one up front, Jim, is our uh, uh, trophy bonded tip. We really added a lot of design to this product. It's really, it's based off the trophy bonded bear claw design. We put a tip on it, a boat tail, skived it so it opens up just when we want it to. It's 100% bonded, so that bullet will hang together. You'll see this upset here being 90, 95% weight retention. Very right, good so bullet. With that tip on there, we've got a, a perfect ballistic coefficient through the air. Exactly. On arrival, that disintegrates, we've got a devastating hollow Yes, point. exactly. That bullet's designed to fly true and straight. Our ballistic coefficients are up 30, 35% over our, our older product. All right, now Jason, what is this last one? This is the all copper bullet, right? Exactly, the Barnes triple shock, Jim. And what we saw here is that the bullet actually penetrated completely through the 24 inch block. And we expected that because copper bullets open a little bit less on the frontal diameter than say a lead core bullet, but it's high weight retention like the trophy tip and designed to break bone and get through that heavy muscle tissue. All right, that's the official technical explanation of what we've seen in terms of performance from the uh, federal premium representatives. Any questions from you? Anybody have one for us? I hunt a lot of open country and take very long shots. How will these perform on that? Long shots, distance. Jason, can you handle it? Absolutely, that's a great question. And all of our premium bullets are very accurate, but there are a few that are designed specifically with higher ballistic coefficients or more aerodynamic design that lets them fly truer at longer distances. The ballistic tip and the Game King are excellent at long range. And the fact that they open quickly is an advantage as you lose energy downrange. All right, now the next test is a little bit more realistic. We're placing a whitetail hide over the face of the block. So the bullet, in each case, will have to penetrate the hide before entering the gel block. Test two, hide on gelatin. Well, again, all these bullets provide us good performance, even with the added resistance of the deer hide. Now, there are some slight differences that can be seen, especially with the aid of the high-speed photography. Jason, what are you seeing in the case of the Game King? Well, Jim, what we're starting to see is that although the hide isn't providing a lot of resistance, the lighter bullets with thinner jackets are starting to come apart more. And you can see there's some more fragments inside the block they're losing weight faster as we start to increase the resistance. But we're still getting good performance. Absolutely. Rick, what about some of the heavier bullets? Well, the heavier bullets with the, the more retained weight, like the Barnes bullet and the trophy tip, they're still getting the penetration. There's a lot of weight there, so they're not losing weight, at, uh, not losing weight and distance of penetration. So you see the trophies right out here at the end. Barnes went through again, so plenty of penetration. Upsets there. See a little bit difference, you know, with the added restriction with the, the hide, but not a lot. Pretty much performance is the same. A little closer to realistic with the a hide. Absolutely, and they work just fine. All right, any questions at this point? I've got a question. Go ahead. I was just wondering, uh, an animal with a thicker hide, would that affect the performance of these rounds at all? Rick, uh, what can you tell them about uh, if we move up to elk hide okay. or something? Yeah, you can see we use deer hide on this particular experiment and, and basically see there is a difference. Uh, you can see it's not huge, but there is somewhat difference. You can see the, the bullets that hold their weight more have uh, more weight retention do perform a little better with the hide difference you know, on the gel block. And as you get to thicker hided animals, uh, animals with thicker hide, you step up, you definitely would want to go to a, a bigger bullet or a, a bullet that holds its weight more. But as you can see from this test, Pretty much all of these work just great uh, for, for whitetail anyway. All right, let's move on to our final test and take it to the extreme. Thick moose hide covering the gelatin block 
and an embedded cow femur. Test 3. Bone-in with Hydon Gelatin. Well guys, this is as close as you can get to real life without actually shooting a moose or a whitetail. But we've got some very impressive results. Jason, I will say though, the Game King was challenged by that hit on the bone. This is a really tough test. I mean, we call it our extreme test. It allows us to really give these bullets a workout because not every shot is gonna be perfect. And sometimes you're gonna strike bone and get different results depending on the shot and depending on the bullet. So that's why we go to higher weight retention products when we get bigger animals and more dense barriers. Now, Rick, these three did, did rather well, even after penetrating the bone. Right, you know, as Jason said, this is a really tough test. When you're shooting through a, a big, heavy bone like this, to, to, for a bullet to go through it, penetrate it, and then give a wound cavity and actually travel distance is a very tough job. These two here, here's our Barnes bullet, actually went through the block again, tremendous. Um, did very well. The trophy tip again ended up where it did before about 23 inches. I think you see through this gel shot right here what it does but we actually got it back here on high-speed camera and if you see that you can really tell the disruption and the force of a bullet actually going through a barrier like bone and what it does after and actually staying in the gel block. Pretty and obvious by this staying shot. Staying together even though staying it's a together. hollow point on the exactly. way through the bone. And we've seen probably 80, 85 percent weight retention, which is really big through a test like this. All right, let's open it up for questions. Anybody got a question about what you've seen today? Go ahead. The uh, ballistic tip bullet looks like it performed very well. Is that typical of performance of that type of bullet? Rick, what would you say? Uh, it can be. You know, bullets will vary. This test here, usually done with a test like this, when you have a thick bone like this, the, the thick hide on the outside, that bullet can have a tendency to come apart a little bit. It didn't in this case, traveled very well. So either way, uh, it will perform. Uh, again, like we said, in this type of test, it's usually the bullets that have higher weight retention are what you'd want to use under a test or a, a situation like this. But yes, it did perform well. Well guys, these are some pretty impressive results from your premium line of bullets. But tell me this, what can we take away from all of this information? Well, it's important to remember that you're not always going to face perfect conditions out in the field. You spend a lot of time and money preparing for your hunting trip. Make sure you spend some time thinking about the right bullet for the right job. Rick? I think this kind of information can make you a more ethical hunter, meaning you don't always get that great shot. It's not the perfect shot. Pick and choose a bullet that'll give you a little wiggle room for error. And uh, there's many choices out there. We make a lot of good premium products. Choose the one that's right for you. There you have it, the Bullet Breakdown from Federal Premium. Have a great hunting season, and remember, every shot counts.